Today we will solve lead code problem number 338. It says counting bits. In this problem, you will be given one positive integer and you have to return a vector of a size one more than that integer. And each element of the vector will denote how many bits are set for number being represented by that index. So for example, if you are given uh, an index of five, uh, a number five, then that means you have to return a vector of size six and the first element will hold zero because zero has zero set bits in it. Next it will hold one. Next it will again hold one and so on. So let's see the example. So five means you return all the bits corresponding to three, four, five till five. Zero and five both inclusive. So zero is represented as zero, zero, zero. One is last bit is one, two, it's one zero three it's one one four it's one zero zero five it's one zero one so you see that here none of the bits are set so it's zero here one bit is set here again one bit is set two bits one bit two bits so the result should be zero one one two one two so this will be the answer so here, here you see that you don't just need to find the number of set bits in a given number, but you need to find all the values from zero till that number. And the requirement that is mentioned is that you have to do it in an order n time. So here n denotes this number or the size of result. Both are same thing, just a difference of one. And you don't have to do it in something like 32 n or like that because the size of the number of bits to represent integer is typically 32. So the trivial way you can think of is that iterate through all the numbers from zero till five. And for each number, it's represented by 32 bits max. So you take the mod, if it's one, you add one to it. Then you right shift, again take the mod and that way count the number of bits for a given number and do that same thing for all the six numbers. So that is not allowed, although that will also be order n. This O of 32 in n is same as O of n, but here it will be much slower. So you have to do it in just one pass and not multiple passes like 32. Then uh, you are also not allowed to use inbuilt functions. For example, uh, in C++ we have bit set and you specify the size of number of bits then you specify a number so this will represent the binary representation of that number for example if you write bit set 32 5 then it will represent a series of zeros and in the end 101 so this will be returned and this says that how many bits you want to represent it in and you can write dot count here. So this will straight away return two here. But we are not allowed to use any such inbuilt functions and we have to do it in order one time and not like order 32n or size of int n. And here uh, you can see one graph. So this I just plotted uh, out of curiosity. What is the plot of uh, number of bits that is being used by numbers? So this axis denotes the actual numbers and this denotes the number of bits that are one in that number. So for zero it's zero, one it's one, two it's one, three it's uh, two. So you can see a pattern here, it goes up and then comes back. So here this will be 15 since 15 is all ones. Similarly this peak is seven, this is 15, this is 31 where there is a jump of one bit so 15 is re represented as four bits all the numbers from this 15 till 30 will be represented in four bits but here is again a jump of bit similarly here at 63 there will be a jump of bits so you see that this goes up but again comes down to one so you see here one it comes back to one here again comes back to one whenever it jumps here also it jumps and come back to one and then after one you will see a repeat of this pattern 
next is this two two values are same then again jump same thing here it goes here and then comes back to one then goes up remains that for two values and this again came here and next it will be like this so that's this pattern is uh, repeating itself for a region and that region is that uh, we all know about shift operators so we know that if i have a number n if i do a right shift to one then whatever were the 32 bits here all the bits are shifted towards right by one so this rightmost bit goes away whatever was the most significant bit comes to one position less so every bit is shifted towards left so what will happen this is also used to divide a number by two so let's say we have uh, 12 so how will you represent 12 12 is 8 plus 4 so it's 1 1 8 4 0 0 this represents 2 this, this represents 1 so this is 8 plus 4 12 if I write shifted by 1 what will happen it will become 1 1 0 every bit has shifted towards right by 1 and what is this number if you see this is 2 and this is 4 and this is 1 but it's 0 so this denotes 6 so you see 12 has become 6 by doing right shift so uh, any number if you have any number let's say 23 and it has let's say k bits that are set to 1 and you are asked to find what is the number of set bits in 46 you know that if 23 has k bits 46 will also have k bits uh, so think of it in reverse way let's say you are asked to find what is the number of bits in 46 then if you know the number of bits in 23 you can find that but there is just one minor adjustment you need to make for even numbers what is the least significant bit it's 0 for even and for odd what will be it it will be 1 apart from that there is no other difference so let's say you are asked to divide you are asked uh, the number of bits for 12 you will straight away return the number of bits for 6 these will be same since for even this was 0 so we did not lose anything but what is the difference between 12 and 13 so if 12 is 1100 this is 12 13 is 1101 and we know that uh, 12 by 2 will be 6 13 by 2 will also be 6 it will be 6.5 but if we are representing it as number then it will be 6 so for 12 13 both half is 6 for 13 14 uh, for 14 15 it will be 7 for 16 17 it will be 8 so if it's uh, even then straight away return this count if it's odd then it will be n6 plus 1 since you lost this one that was here so when you right shift it either 12 or 13 you will get 110 but actually 12 had this 12 did not lose anything by right shifting because it was already 0 but 13 lost just one bit so you have to add one that there so what will be the algo uh, start from 0 for 0 it will be 0 you can start from 1 so it's like a DP problem you are filling it bottom up so you know the value for 0 so for 1 you just need the value of uh, 1 by 2 so for any number n you need the value of n by 2 and if you are starting from 0 and going up then any value for any value you will need the half of that and that you would have already calculated since we are coming in increasing order and only thing you need to keep in mind is that if this original number is even then just return this its half if this number is odd then return its half plus one so let's write the code for this in C++ Java and Python it will be very simple two-liner code and just uh, for extra info how I got this plot I used that bit set function which I set the inbuilt function and then I logged it for a large number of values 
for from 1 to 1000 and this number denotes the number this denotes the number of bits and I plotted it in Excel just out of curiosity to see how it looks and you can see that this is the plot it goes up come back to 1 goes up come back to 1 and so on it keeps keeps on repeating and that is the reason for any number number of set bits is same as the half of the number plus 1 depending on if it's odd or not now let's write the code for this and its size will be num plus 1 since 0 is included and let's initialize everything to 0 so for 0 also it's 0 and it's holding a correct value so we can start from 1 we can also start from 0 since uh, this bit counts 0 is also available So this right shift shifts everything to the right by one bit and this modulo if it's odd then we had lost a bit in the units place the rightmost bit so that's why we need to add it back and finally return bit counts that's it just two lines of code and let's see it's num and this works so let's try a few more examples 5 some big number ok so we got output limit exceeded so this maybe they have some output limit on the number of the maximum value of integer it doesn't look like they have mentioned anything so let's try a smaller number and this works for all the cases so let's submit and the solution is accepted and if we see the time it takes around 4 milliseconds and we are right here at the top so it's good and now we will repeat the same thing in java and python there should not be any major change required in java only thing we need to change is that its type is int array and everything else should remain as it is and the solution is accepted in java as well finally we will write it in python and the solution is accepted in python as well so i hope uh, you enjoyed the solution these uh, bit wise based questions are
quite interesting and it always gives you some new insight about the numbers and how they are represented in the binary form.